What's up, guys? Welcome back to Whiskey Website Wednesdays. This is episode 21. My name is Mira. I am the social media manager here at Outside the Box. This is Gauch. Again? Gauch again? Gauch. How are you feeling? You're feeling great today. We're feeling wonderful. We're about to drink the Macallan Select Oak, and we're about to talk Facebook stories. We have Instagram Live going right now. Facebook Live. We're just doing Inception and Inception right now, so... I don't think you know what Inception is, but it's all good. Whatever. It's okay. It was a great movie, though. <laughs> Leo! Love you! Uh, oh, happy Wednesday. I'm not going to break the cork this time. Okay. All right. Uh, on that note. So what are we drinking? How are you feeling? Why are you tired today? I'm always tired. Come That's on. That's my secret. We're drinking the McAllen, Se- McAllen? McAllen Select Oak. It is a delicious, sweet whiskey. It's a Scotch whiskey blend. It's actually a Scottish uh, whiskey from Scotland. Don't you just love drinking in the middle of the day? Yeah, especially after you make like jokes like that, <laughs> comments like that. I definitely need a drink. Uh, anyhow. Okay, oh, no. give us some of the notes. I feel like the video is tilting. We gotta, we gotta be tilted now. Should we tilt this way? All right. Did I pour enough? Um, right. Well, while, while we figure that out, i just give, give you guys a little bit of information about the Macallan 1824 collection. Yeah. Why is it called the 1824 collection? Because it's made in 1824. It was founded then. Founded in 1824? Yeah. Macallan was, yeah. yeah. Wasn't why. there a war? The War of 1824? There's probably a lot of wars. Or was it 1814? <laughs> I am not good at history. This is why I don't bring it up, All because right. I don't know it. Uh, anyhow, all right, so the notes. Um, well, you'll notice the color is a very pale gold. Uh, the about the uh, alcohol uh, level percentage is 40%. On the nose, it'll have a vanilla, butterscotch, and hint of damson. I don't actually know what damson is. Uh, another to- note that they had given us was on the nose was toasted oak, pepper, and marshmallows, fruits, black forest, gateau. I don't know who to believe, but this time... Oh, I get the vanilla. Hella sweet. Do you? Mm-hmm. But the damson and the... The vanilla butterscotch and hint of damson is actually from Man, Macallan. Man, it's damson. Yeah, I don't know. It's damson. They just damn, want Damn, son! Exactly. Uh, palette, it's an effortless balance of vanilla and sweet spice. I, I've noticed that there is a vanilla uh, f- underlying flavor in a lot of the Macallans. Um, and the finish is medium sweet and luxuriously long. I don't know what that means, but it sounds great. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot more stuff to it, but you know what? I'm going to, I'm just, you know what? Let's just try it. Do you, uh, it other than the other Macallan that we have had, have you ever tried another Macallan or are you in, into the Macallan range? I like the Macallans um, before they changed it to the, uh, like, you know, they when they when they changed it to the amber and the gold and all that stuff. I used to try it before that. Mm-hmm. After, since I hadn't actually tried a lot of them, so I know amber is okay. I don't mind amber. Yeah. Uh, golds, I like the, the taste of uh, Macallan Gold. But uh, I haven't actually tried this one either, so. All we'll right. Find out. So, color, yes, definitely pale gold. Um, kind of reminds me of some of the other Glen Meringue, is actually a very light color. Mm-hmm. Oh, she runs down pretty slow. Okay. All right, ready? Sweet, right? Yeah, but there's like something behind it. Maybe that's a damson. I don't know what damson smells like or what damson is, so that's our problem. I don't know why I keep looking at the Instagram lab. You guys are important. Hey, what's up? Instagram lab. I really want to drink, man. Uh, uh, I was trying to give you guys some value. Yum. You taste how sweet it is? It is sweet. It's like it sweeter than all the other ones we've tried, but it's really good. Yeah, but then the finish, though, is not sweet. Mmm. The finish isn't medium sweet at all. Well, the, be- no. the beginning is a bit sweet. Yeah. But and overall, there, it it's It is definitely it's a sweet. long, lingering taste. I'm going to have to come back to you guys. I've got to find out what Damson is, by the way, as well, so... 
What are we talking about today while I look up Damson? <laughs> we are talking about Facebook Stories. If you don't already have Facebook Stories, it actually rolled out yesterday. Uh, Facebook Stories is very similar to Snapchat, and if you don't already have Snapchat, you... Uh, I don't even know what to say. Do you, you have Snapchat, right? I have it. Don't use it. I'm sorry. She's yelled at me multiple times to this. I, she did. She yeah. called me out on purpose right now because she knows damn well I don't use That's it. That's why I didn't want to say uh, anything about people that don't use Snapchat. Uh, Either way, Snapchat or sorry, Facebook has released Facebook Stories. You'll notice at the top of your news feed if you've done the update or whatever, you'll see the little circles that you're used to from Instagram oh, yeah. Stories. It's a plum. Dabson is an archaic. It's, oh wow, it's a plum. So that's probably why that we have so many sweet notes. So much, so much sweet notes. Ah. Wow, English. Um, Do you even English, bro? Facebook stories. So I'm sure you're used to Instagram. Uh, Instagram stories, WhatsApp has status. Uh, Snapchat has stories, obviously. And then Messenger's version is called Messenger Day. Uh, Facebook has the capability. It has like its camera or whatever. You scroll up. Oh, my God. You scroll up. You have a dancing champion in the back. <laughs> um, Can you see him in the mirror? Can you see him in the TV? Ah oh, yeah. What's up, Harmon? MCJD for life. Got you. Check him out. MCJD, he's cool. Um, yeah. Facebook camera is limited only to personal profiles right now. It also is only for your friends, so only your friends can see it right now. Um, the reason why I like Instagram stories, and we were just discussing this before we went live, we all have different mediums that are our favorite. Instagram stories is one of my favorites right now because I can take it from Snapchat, put it to Instagram stories, and I reach three times the audience that I typically reach on Snapchat. Snapchat is only people that I know and whatever. I've kind of curated that audience for myself, but it's also a personal preference. I like Instagram stories because of the reach. Facebook stories stories uh, I'm kind of at a loss for it like I use it today I had 27 views on promoting this but I don't love it the idea of it right now because it's solely limited to my Facebook friends and I don't necessarily know if I want all my Facebook friends to see what I'm doing that's fair it is it's weird in the sense that it is more private where you have to have them but it's also not because you not necessarily want to share this with all the people on your facebook mm -hmm. and facebook is a problem the, the thing with facebook is a lot more people use it in the grand scheme of things i'm talking about like age demographics yes at, at our age actually people are using it less and less yeah which is probably why they're trying to bring features on like this but in the grand scheme of things parents are using it grandparents are using it and you ne you don't I don't know if everyone necessarily wants to be, uh, you know, rotating people on them being drunk. Or drinking whiskey in the middle of the day. Exactly. I mean, they can just go on Facebook Live and find that out. Exactly. Instead of, like, you know, seeing all my story. <laughs> and at least that way they can come to our page. I see you. I see you watching. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I, I was actually kind of apprehensive too this morning when I saw it. Mm. I saw it on my page, like my timeline, and I was like, oh, okay, interesting. And then it was, it was funny, um, our producer slash director slash everything actually after I said, you know, there's the death of originality and the death of everyone just copies each other. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's the age of copying. But I mean, it, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. Snapchat, you did a good job, I guess. Have you used WhatsApp statuses? No, I looked at it and I laughed. Yeah. And I, just, like, I used it once and I was like, why? Yeah, I didn't even get the point. Like, yeah. WhatsApp is just a messenger. That's yeah. I don't all I use it for. I don't understand the point of it. Yeah. And it's it's so out of the way. You have to click somewhere else to go find it. I'm like, eh, do I really want to do this? Yeah. I wasn't even, you know. The other reason why I like Instagram stories is because it has that multiple accounts feature where I can switch in between accounts really quick so I can promote on all these different accounts. So say it's yeah. outside the box or Balantech or Hip House, I'm switching between the accounts like promoting different things, but it's easier than Snapchat where I have to log in, log out, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Facebook, sorry, Instagram, their video capabilities are only 15 seconds long. Snapchat is only 10 seconds long. Facebook stories is now 40 seconds long, wow. which I actually don't know if that's necessarily a good thing because yeah. going on the 10 second premise, people only have a short attention span. Like right now, how many people yeah, are on Facebook or Instagram or whatever? Yeah. 
So they have emojis, they have filters, they have a Facebook camera, they have a bunch of things that Snapchat doesn't, but it also has a bunch of things that it's missing from Snapchat's capabilities, like face swap, like user and business submitted filters. This is not for business people at all. This is just for personal profiles. So if you're a business and you're wanting to use a, uh, you're wanting to use Facebook stories, you can't. Really? So yeah, no. Uh, but I mean, are they rolling it out still, or is this just a, just a lack of it capability might. right now? But Snapchat and Instagram are good. Are sorry, Snapchat is good for ads. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, not so much. Slowly rolling it out in terms of Instagram stories. Ads. Yeah, yeah. Um, I notice a lot of Snapchat ads as well. Like, yeah. hey, are you single? And I'm like, yeah. Okay. She's like, stop asking me personal stop, questions. Stop. How did you know? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I don't know if you've tested out Facebook stories, let us know because I'm still trying to It's so hard to keep up with everything um, But Facebook stories, I think I'm not gonna be too much into it just because I like the snapchat goofiness Chilling on snapchat mm -hmm. kind of thing. So yeah, I don't know it, 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 it uh, Facebook's obviously trying to like, you know capture a certain audience and mm -hmm. in the sense that it might some someone might find a way to use it in a different setting but um, I don't know if they'll be it's not gonna cross over I don't think with yeah. the Millennials but who knows maybe they'll you know adjust it around and make it work at one point or another I don't know I think it's just getting too much I don't know you guys I mean I, I you, guys can tell, you, you guys can tell us what you guys think as well like I yeah. mean personally yet, I'm not sure how this is gonna work but I, when I saw it this morning I was just like okay cool I'm gonna ask Mira how this works because I don't know <laughs> What's happening? I'm mean, like, it, it, for me, it felt more like the WhatsApp stories than it did when. In, yeah. Mira just got this. An this hour. is probably. The <sighs> yeah. Ah, I was doing that from too high above. Anyways. Seriously, there's more water on the table than there is in my glass. We need like a funnel, a little spout. Cheers again. I think I put loads of much water trying to avoid what happened to her. But it's all good. It opens up a little mm. bit more. Yeah, I think I put too much water, but it does open up a lot. All right, guys. Well, that just gives me more of an excuse. Don't worry. I don't actually finish this. I share it with my friends. Oh, well, if you have tried the Macallan Select Oak, let us know. Let us know what your favorite Macallan is. Let us know what you think about Facebook stories as well. Uh, we're still getting used to it, I guess everyone else is. Uh, it's kind of just where do you put your message, which one do you use now uh -huh. that there's Snapchat, Instagram stories. I'm not really counting WhatsApp statuses. No yeah. one really uses that. No offense. Um, so between Instagram stories, Facebook stories, and what was the last one? Snapchat? Yeah. Between those three, which one would you use the most? Which one? What do you use for what feature? Yeah. I feel like Snapchat, you know, personal, Instagram, business. Yeah, business. And then Facebook, uh, grandparents. Snapchat is where you can like be more yourself. Instagram stories is where you more just like, but, this is what I want everyone to see. But you know what's funny though? I feel like with Snapchat more and more, I feel like people have gone away from being themselves and then trying to be who they want to be. More like how an Instagram news feed is? Or yeah, like, you know, like, you, yeah. you give it, you're almost, like, misrepresenting yourself. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of social media at this point, sometimes, some people use it. Some people use it very honestly, but some people use it to misrepresent themselves. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it is what you want to make it, right? Like, you can use it however you want. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know how Facebook's going to factor in. Like, Snapchat, I feel like sometimes they're caricatures of themselves, you know, whether it be a filter or, like, you know talking about themselves. My producer is looking at me like he wants to have like a deep conversation with me right now, but he's, or he's just like. I got only one question. What about those people who repeatedly post, like we follow them everywhere, they post same thing on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Snapchat. Uh -huh. Will that be annoying? Are you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> I think if it's strategically placed, like not putting everything that you put on Snapchat, on Instagram stories that you put on Facebook, whatever, whatever, because yes, the same people that follow you on all mediums, especially your personal network, those are your biggest supporters, right? So, or your biggest haters, whatever. But I feel like there's certain things from Snapchat that you can take and you put on Instagram stories, like a select few, 
And then because Instagram Stories has a capability to tag people, you're not going to tag every single brand that you're mentioning or whatever because that's going to spam them. They're going to get annoyed by you and they're going to block you in a sense. So I think you just need to be selective with the message and choosing the medium correctly because if your message is the same everywhere, people yeah. are going to get annoyed and people are going to unfollow you and that's just not going to be good. But I think what she, she, she made a mention that it's actually really important there. She was talking about like you know, tagging brands or tagging things like that. So I think they can go across mediums when you're talking about your whether it be outside the box yeah. or whether it be hip house or yep. whether it be Ballantech. If you're talking about that, going across the mediums actually I think works. I think when you're doing some personal things, if you start posting it everywhere, A, you're watering down your engagement. Like it, People might be like, I already looked at your snap. I'm not going to look at it on Instagram. Yeah. But that's also n don't. That's not. Sorry, that's not also to say that you can't repurpose content. You can repurpose content. Yes. Yeah. If, you, if you're doing like mirrors, and then you have to be kind of selective. No. Mirrors. Not, Me? not mirrors. 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 Um, you can repurpose content, and that's so. Like for our Facebook videos, we can put them on YouTube. Um, but that's not oversaturating our the same market or the same yeah. Audience, right? We're just reaching different target audiences, which we'll be, we will be actually dabbling with soon. Uh, what else are we gonna dabble? Yeah, with? Well, there's a lot of things we're gonna be, we're planning on dabbling in, so stay tuned. Yes. Uh, but yeah, you know, guys, put your opinions in. Hey, Instagram Live, guys. Hello. I think I'm been staring more at there than I have there. No, I have too, but then I I, I noticed. Hey, sad girls. Nice kinder. How are you guys doing? Hey, Rick! Hey, Rick Good Dates. Guys, go to Rick Good Dates. Good All right. Dates. So we nice. are going to get back to work now because we've spent a little too much time drinking whiskey. That's if true. you have any questions, as usual, for us marketing-wise, whether it's SEO, social media, PPC, web design, if you just want to chat, email us at think at outsidethebox.com. He is gauche at outsidethebox.com. I am mira at outsidethebox.com. We are outside the box, clearly. We are drinking whiskey every Wednesday and we will be back again next week so we hope you guys have a productive day and enjoy the end of March April is coming up spring is right around well right it's already here yeah. but basically it doesn't feel like it yet but it's there yeah alright guys that was good cheers oh and that